Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Valeria and this is the Offroad Ranch. So, I changed my place of residence from a cozy apartment with all the benefits of civilization to the wild. In previous videos, I talked about how I chose a site for myself and made a brief overview of it. In this video, I will set up my first camp for a long stay. A hot bath, a stove, a microwave, a soft sofa, now all this is gone. But I have a land where I will live and work. At the time of filming this video, a kind of table and a bench has already been made out of wooden planks and tree trunks. And also, a small firewood shed has already been made from logs and branches that I found on the site. As I said, my site is 80% covered with trees, and the grass reaches the waist. Therefore, first I need to choose the right place for the camp. Now I will show you the layout of the camp schematically, and you will see the logic of the placement. And then I will show the work of setting it up. Let's go! Let me remind you what my site looks like. Its area is 2,500 square meters. Most of my site is covered with thousands of fruit trees. There are several large trees on the range. There is a collapsed fence. It is marked with a brown line. I haven't checked its condition yet. There are pillars from the other fence. I show them in one of the videos. Here, in the corner, there are huge fir trees, specially planted by someone long ago. Now some of them are on the territory of my site. The camp will be located here, the most open and level place from where I will start work. Here there will be a fire. Here, on the border of the plot, there is a small firewood shed, which will grow when I will cut down trees and shrubs on my site. Here there will be a tent. And above it, there will be an awning to cover the tent and tools from rain, thunderstorms, sun and heat. Here, there will be my jeep. I have separate videos about choosing a car and about inspecting the jeep. During rain, or in case of other need, it will be under an awning next to the tent. Since I don't have a source of water yet, I will go to the neighbors for water. Let's imagine that their well is here. Later I will find a well in my area and start using my water. I also need to find a place for a makeshift supply of provisions, which I will dig out to store food. And there will be a plastic shower and a plastic toilet when I buy them. I also plan to purchase solar panels, if I have the resources. If I have them, then I will determine a place for them later and show you. Let's start work. As I told, first I freed the site from large branches. Then, in a few days, I mowed a small piece of land with a machete. I took the rake from a neighbor. I bought an axe and a machete on a used goods website and sharpened it. These short videos you can watch in a short time, but in fact, it takes me days or even weeks to do all of it. It is pretty dangerous to shoot live works, and several times I almost broke my phone, so I don't shoot everything. Today my friend came to visit me. She came to take a break from the city on her day off. She became interested in what I do and how I live, and she helped me in filming the video. After a few days of hot weather, when the cut grass has dried up, I can collect it in haystacks. After that, I can set up the tent evenly, securely and stably. I will place some of the tray hack under the tent, so it is warmer and soft to sleep. After collecting the grass, I need to put up a tent. I spread hay on the grass to put up a tent on. Behind me, there is a blue awning that you could have already noticed. I will use it to stretch over the tent. I have an all-season expedition tent tram mountain 4 version 2 with two entrances, mosquito net and storm bars. 
The stand is up for four people. After diligently collecting hay in stacks and setting up a tent, I want to eat. And the day is coming to an end. Therefore, the end of my day is making a fire and cooking dinner. And summing up the results. My day and this video are coming to an end. You can see plastic bottles that hang on a tree. I use them for technical water. In addition to cutting hay, I also cleared an area near one large tree and began to go deeper into the thickets and clear a path there. In the next videos, I will try to show you more of the work. And if you have questions, leave comments. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Support me and my project with your subscriptions, likes and comments. And you are welcome to watch other videos on different topics on my channel. I am sure they will be useful for you. It was Valeria with the Offroad Trench. Wish you all the best and see you soon.